The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, Realist Puppet in the game. Today we're making a lead out of a vocal sample. I'm going to go through some really quick processing techniques that can turn a sample into a lead very quickly. And I whipped together a little Moombatone beat to demonstrate this. So let's check out the example. So the drums are all one shots that I sequenced from raw hits. These are all techniques that I've explained in uh, my past few tutorials on drum production. And then down here is our lead. As you can see, not too many plugins going on, just the sample, really quick processing. So let's start from the sample. Uh, I got that from Raw Hits, Organic Vocals. It was this number 14 right here. So we're gonna double click it. Uh, our E note, which I uh, labeled here, is one, two, three, four steps above C. So we are gonna turn down our transpose four. That way when we play a C on our piano, it'll play a C out of the sampler and we can make sure that we got it right by playing it with an operator. If you just hold to command, you can And that is how you check your sample's tuning. We don't need that operator. Uh, let's go in here, turn off our filter. We are going to turn on our glide. I think I used around 100. Um, we're gonna bump our release up to about 150. And then let's listen to our sample. It's got this junk at the bottom that we don't want. I'm just gonna cut it right there and then shave off our attack a little bit so it's a little bit smoother. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is uh, make a instance of Valhalla Room. Great reverb plugin. We're gonna pull this down to around 30%. I didn't want it to be fully uh, reverbed or wet. Pull that down so you have a really short <coughs> reverb tail. Let's also turn this channel down. Um, what else did I do in here? Pull the depth down a little bit. Turn that all the way up. That kind of adds almost like a chorusing effect and a little bit of space. Do you produce music and love making hot club bangers? Do you find yourself constantly searching for those crispy snares and percussions? Do you want your beats to make people turn up? Maybe it's time you stepped up your sample pack library. Here at Whole Loops, we've got the product for you. Introducing Raw Hits, our debut sample pack of organically grown drum one shots, loops, FX, vocal samples, and all the production essentials you'll need to add some organic flavor to your secret sauce. Raw Hits is available now only at wholeloops.com. To the sample. Let's open up OTT. We're going to start out by turning this down a whole lot because we're about to turn it up a lot with these bands. We're going to start out by getting rid of all the low end. You can just grab it with your mouse will turn into the bracket, pull it down. Let's turn the mids all the way up and the highs all the way up. And uh, let's actually turn the highs up a little bit more by giving them a little bit more uh, attack here. And then let's put this down to 75. Oops. Let's mute this and pull our MIDI down so we can hear what we got so far. Actually, we're going to turn on Warp Complex Pro. Forgot to do that earlier. This uh, will give you some options in the tone of the pitch shifting, and we're actually going to use this one 
to make our next channel, but let's finish this one first with a uh, low cut. I always start by putting it up way too high and then bringing it back in just to find that sweet spot. Just where you can hear it to start working. Right there. Next thing we're going to add is some sidechain compression. We're going to sidechain this to the top kick. And we're going to EQ the top kick signal so that we're just getting the top, very top of the top kick. Let's turn that down a little bit too. Last thing we're going to add is a little bit more stereo width to this. I like using the Dimension Expander by Xfer. It's another free one. Make sure to put it before the sidechain compression because I really want this to clamp down on the entire signal. Right in there is good. And now for the variation part for the second half, all we're going to be doing is duplicating this, dropping this down here, switching this to this. And that's our second sound. It's got the side chain, got everything going on. So let's play it from the top one more time. Yeah, so there you have it. This is such a quick and effective way to audition samples as leads. Most of the music that I make is out of samples, so I end up going to this a lot. I hope you find this as useful as I do. If you like this tutorial, leave me a comment telling me why. If you would like me to make a tutorial on something else, leave a comment telling me why. Thank you for subscribing. Tutorial Tuesday is going to be a very real thing. I will catch you guys next Tuesday.